Assalamu alaikum friends. Today in this video lecture I am going to discuss about 8 useful civil engineering formulas and these formulas should be learned every civil engineer because it's very important for every civil engineer. So let me discuss 8 useful civil engineering formulas. If this video is helpful for you so much like this video and also subscribe this channel with press bell icon to get notification for new update videos. 8 useful civil engineering formulas. Let's start. So the first formula is about land area calculation. If you want to find land area, so you can use the given formula. You can see A for area. If you want to find area, so A is equal S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Right under root. So now you have a question that what is S here? If you want to find triangle area, especially we can use this formula for triangulation survey, right? So here are for traverse. So you can see S is equal A plus B plus C divided by 2. So for triangle we have three sides A, B, C. So A plus B plus C divided by 2, this is S. After that we will subtract S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. For more details, the link is in the description of this video, how to find land area for this formula, okay? Now we have the second formula, how to find depth of foundation. So we have a formula for depth of foundation that's D is equal P divided by W into 1 minus sine theta divided by 1 plus sine theta whole square. Now D is depth of foundation. P is load of structure or load of building and W is density of soil in which you are making excavation for your building foundation, right? Now you can see 1 minus sine theta. So what is sine theta? So this is angle of repose for soil, angle of repose and 1 plus sine theta this is also angle of repose after that we will 1 plus sine theta into whole square if you need more information about depth of foundation formula so also the link is in the description of this video for more details about depth of foundation now we have the third formula number of riser and trade formula how to find number of riser and trait in staircase so if you want to find number of riser and staircase so number of riser is equal height of light so height of light, so you can see height of light. So this is just a diagram for you. Height of light divided by height of riser, which can give us total numbers of riser. Okay, so you can see this is riser. Now, if you need to find numbers of trades, so number of trades is equal to total numbers of risers subtract 1 it will give us number of trades in staircase now we have the fourth formula about area of column footing means how to find area of column so it's very important also so area of column is equal p divided by sbc where p is load of structure on column load of structure on column because we find area of column footing so therefore p is equal load structure on column and divided by sbc means soil bearing capacity so also the link is in the description of this video for more details how to find area of column footing for this formula also we have link is in the description for other video now the fifth formula is weight of steel how to find weight of steel means what's the formula to find weight of steel so we have this formula and every civil engineer know about this formula so d d square divided by 162 where d is n millimeter dia of steel should be in millimeter and divided by 162 which can give us weight of steel in kg per meter it will give us weight of steel this formula in kg per meter now the sixth formula we have what is the minimum thickness of slab our formula to find minimum thickness of slab i have already discussed 
and the link is also in the description of this video. So, four times of nominal aggregate size. If you use aggregate NRCC slip, so we will increase four times size of nominal aggregate. So it will give us, for example, if we use 25 millimeter, size of aggregate is 25 millimeter NRCC slip, so we will multiply with four. So the minimum thickness of RCC slip should be 100 millimeter. Or we can see 10 centimeter. Or we can say 10 centimeter. Right? Now also we have uh, minimum thickness of RCC slab which is 5 inches from ACI. Sorry, IS. IS code. So now we have the seventh formula about slip weight of slab. So weight of slab is equal to density of RCC multiplied thickness of slab which can give us self weight of RCC slab. Now the last formula is depth of beam means what is the formula to find depth of beam but it's in thumb rule from ACI American Concrete Institute 318-14. If you want to find depth of foundation with thumb rule so you can use the given formula. Depth of beam is equal length of beam. If the length of beam is in feet, for example, 12 feet, length of beam should be in feet and depth of beam should be in inches. If you have the length of beam 12 feet, so the depth of the beam should be 12 inches. Right? If it's 16 feet, so it should be, so it should be 16 inches. So these are some useful civil engineering formulas which I have discussed the front of you. If you have any question about this video, you just comment. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.